How is it going bros this is AJ here back to you with a super easy tutorial showing how you can easily transfer data over a Wi-Fi network so stay tuned. I recently found this awesome clean and flat application called FileDrop that is available on Windows, Mac and Android and that too for free but you have to pay a little amount of 2.99 US dollars to get it on iOS. To download this software head towards www.filedropme.com, download the software according to the operating system you are on and then repeat the same process on the devices you wish to share the files between or among. Now that you have installed the software on your devices, get ready to transfer some files. Just for demonstration, I'm going to transfer a file from my desktop computer running Windows to my Android smartphone. To transfer the files, first make sure that both the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi host. Then open the application on both the devices. Let it connect and recognize the host and the other devices connected to the host. Once done, drag and drop the file on this tiny window to start sending it to your smartphone. I am going to send this picture. Now as soon as I drop the file it will require you to accept the incoming file on the other device. Accept the file and it will start transferring. In the same way files can also be sent to the computer from the mobile device. Just click on the little desktop thumbnail kind of thing and then select the option on the right to send any kind of file or select the one on the left to send some pictures and all. One more amazing feature of this application is that you can directly showcase the photos on your mobile device to your monitor through this. Just select the photos that you want and click on play. You can swipe the screen on your phone to navigate the, through the photos. This is it for the tutorial guys, this is the easiest and most convenient method for those who cannot go into some deep computer stuff for transferring files and don't mind installing a clean and flat application that doesn't do any harm to the computer or places a lot of load on it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did give it a thumbs up and also, a subs and also subscribe to Twitter because there is a lot more stuff to come. Also I am eagerly ready for some tutorial requests or any kind of queries that you have, you can leave those kinds of things in the comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. That's it for this tutorial. Peace. Peace.